Instead of making myself cute, I make myself a ghost. <laughs> Back to every Disney movie ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching every Disney movie ever today. I'm going to talk about Pete's Dragon, and I have a guest, Carolyn. Hello. She's one of my best friends in the whole wide world. We've been friends since sixth grade. So long ago. She helped me with my broken ankle. Yes. Love you. Um, Carolyn's here. She has never seen any Pete's Dragon. No. Nope. Not the 1977 one that we're talking about, and not the 2016 one. I've seen the 2016 one, but not the 1977 one until now. Oh boy. Peace Dragon is a 1977 theatrical release. It is both animation and live action. Elliot the Dragon is animated while the rest of the film is live action. <laughs> it's directed by Don Chaffee, cinematography by Frank Phillips, animation direction by Don Bluth, Elliot done by Ken Anderson. It is written by Malcolm Marmerstein as well as edited by Gordon D. Brenner. Song-wise, Al Kasha and Joel Hirschhorn, while uh, score-wise, Erwin Coastal, boom. <laughs> Got Don it. Chaffee is best known for The Viking Queen, The Three Lives of Thomasina, and Jason and the Argonauts. Bam! Boom. Frank Phillips is best known for The Black Hole, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, Hawaii Five-O, and The Wild Wild West. Don Bluth is best known for Anastasia, An American Tale, The Land Before Time, Secret of Nim, All Dogs Go to Heaven, I Can Go On, Pebble and the Penguin. Did yes. I say that? Pebble no, and the Penguin, so good. Yes. Uh, and he used to work for Disney, as you can tell, because he was animation director of this film. And this was his last film with Disney because of all the things that had stacked up that made him want to leave. Scandal. Scandal. He took 11 animators with him um, to create uh, uh, Don Bluth Studios, where he created an American Tale, etc. And it was a big, big stab to Disney, a loss to Disney. And uh, they struggled. They you almost died. Tell. Disney you almost went tell. out of business in the 80s because Don Bluth left and took a ton of good ideas and animators with him. Dang and true. he was killing the 80s while Disney wasn't, wasn't killing the 80s. And uh, the only reason they came back was because of Little Mermaid. So uh, Don Bluth was a big scandal. Scandal! <laughs> Ken Anderson is the creator of Elliot, and he was involved in a lot of other Disney movies as well. Cinderella, Robin Hood, Jungle Book. This was his final film for Disney. I covered Gordon D. Brenner in the video I made about the Ghost of Cypress Swamp, so if you want to learn all about him and his history, go check out that video. The link will be in the description. Malcolm Marmerstein is best known for Dark Shadows, Dead Men Won't Die, and Love Bites. <laughs> Alkasha and Joel Hirschhorn are best known for The Poseidon Adventure, Towering Inferno, and Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Erwin Costell was born in Chicago. He was not the composer, but was involved in the music department for West Side Story, Mary Poppins, The Sound of Music, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The film stars Sean Marshall, Helen Reddy, Jim Dale, Mickey Rooney, Charlie Callis, and Red Buttons. Sean Marshall is best known for this, but he's also well known for The Deadly Trackers and The New Adventures of Heidi. Helen Reddy was more famous for being a Singer, which you would probably know her for, I Am Woman. She was dubbed as Queen of the 70s because of her musical and television appearances. I am woman, hear me roar. Numbers too big to ignore. Jim Dale is a very famous British actor. He made his way by being a comedian and doing shows in Britain, but he's also well known in the US for narrating all seven Harry Potter books narrating Pushing Daisies, yes. and he was in a ton of Broadway shows. The one I recognized him for was Barnum, because I did Barnum in high school. Mm -hmm. So we listened to the soundtrack a bunch, and we're watching this movie, and I'm like, I cannot shake this man's voice. We couldn't shake his voice. Cause no, because I was like, from Pushing Ooh, Daisies. Yes. I knew it from Barnum, and we looked him up, and we're like, ugh, uh. ugh. So he's around. Yes. Mickey Rooney, being the big actor that he is, is known for Andy Hardy, National Velvet, The Bold and the Brave, The Human Comedy, Babes in Arms, and what I immediately knew him as Santa from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And that's just to name a few, okay? Just it's Mickey few. Rooney. Charlie Callis is the voice of Elliot. So adorable. Super cute Ugh. kid. And he's known for working with Mel Brooks and Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. He's also really well known for his stand-up. Red Buttons, real name, won an Oscar for Sayonara. He was in Harlow and they shoot horses, don't they? I hope not. Ew, yeah, no. I don't want no 
Shoes and horses. <laughs> yes. The lighthouse in the film was actually built in Los Osos, California, and it was made to look like Maine. Oh, wow. But Full in the name. film, you can actually see the sun setting on the ocean, which means it's oh. the West Coast. They also made the beacon, the fire in the lighthouse, so big that they needed permission from the Coast Guard to use it. Oh, dang. Pete's Dragon was the first film with animation that did not include any of Disney's nine old men. Pete's Dragon was nominated for two Academy Awards and didn't win either of them. I believe it was best song and best adapted screenplay, but I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. Pete's Dragon did not get very good critical acclaim. A lot of people said that it tried to be too much like Mary Poppins. Everyone did agree though that Elliot was by far the best character in the movie. True. Elliot the dragon was only supposed to be seeing his full dragon form at the very end of the movie, but the animators liked him so much that they wanted him to be in more of it, so he actually has a total screen time of 22 minutes. A little bit more about the Don Bluth scandal. Don Chaffee, who was the director of this film, really wanted to share the directing credit with Don Bluth, but him. Disney was adamant about not sharing it because most of the film was live action and that was another reason Don Bluth was like, I'm freaking out of here. This was originally supposed to be a TV series out in the 1950s for the wonderful world of Disney, but it was actually shelved until 1975. The film made $39 million with a $10 million budget, so it did pretty okay actually. Yeah, not too but, bad. Uh, <laughs> not better than a lot of other movies. <laughs> just like The Rescuers, there were so many goofs in this movie that we're actually just going to put the IMDb link in the description below. The movie's bad! <laughs> Sucks! <laughs> Tyler, I'm so sorry. I know you love this movie, <sighs> but it's awful! Not good. I know I've seen the live action, like, new one, okay? They're nothing alike to begin with, but that's fine. Disney Even if like I hadn't seen that, this movie's bad! Disney's like, the dragon's cool, let's rewrite everything else. <laughs> yes, for the new one. She hasn't seen the new one. She no, had never seen any yet. of them, and you think it's horrible. It is not It's good. not good. No. From the very beginning, I have a clip. It'll be playing <laughs> somewhere, I'm sure. And uh, Pete's like an orphan, obviously. Like, that's the general. He's an orphan. And this family. This family. Is horrible. Which is like, you expect that. He's in a horrible family situation. But this family's like singing about killing him. Like the brothers are like, we're gonna string him up. We're gonna chop him up. We're gonna throw him in a sack. Like, and it's the very beginning. And they like this, like they do this creepy, like <laughs> jump out. <laughs> That's the clip. <laughs> the clip is the jump, the jump out. Horrifying. It is. And just, oh, it's not good. No. And Elliot. <laughs> Is the best the part savior. by far, critics were absolutely correct. He's the cutest dragon. dragon. Love him. Hate everything else. Yeah. Dr. Terminus is creepy. Mm -hmm. He does Jim Dale does a fantastic job as Dr. Terminus. Yes, he does. But he's just bad. Like he's like Plays annoying well. and the song about chopping up Elliot is insane. So That's like, like just as yeah. bad as the opening song or worse. Yeah, so both villain songs are about killing the dragon or And the it boy. like goes into such deep, it's not like we're gonna yeah. kill him and capture him. It's like, we're gonna chop him up, sell him, like scissors, like, scissors, yeah, scissors. Like it's up, just like, like every just like Specifically chop all up, the different ways kill, that we can kill stab, a dragon and a little boy. Throw him in Let's a sack, like all. it's just so horrible and, put it into a song. and terrifying. And then just the music isn't good. No. Candle on the Water is probably my favorite, probably because I knew it mm -hmm. before the movie. I had no idea it was from Pete's Dragon. I just Context. knew it as a Disney song. So now I understand why she sings Candle on the Water, and I think it's my favorite. But also, uh, It's So Easy was cute, the song yes. between Nora and Pete. Mm -hmm. And then the dragon song, yes. like the I Saw a Dragon song, is very fun. But otherwise... Bad. Like, just random. I think that's part of why it was so long, is just random musical things were in it that didn't really make it a musical. There were, like, musical parts that didn't make sense. Yeah. It originally was only supposed to be Candle in the Water. Which and I the think the rest of it wasn't been supposed a good to be idea. musical. But then they're like, we like that song so much, let's make it a musical. There are a ton of adult suggestions. Yes. In this movie, there's alcoholism, which is has been around in Disney movies before, but this is like, I was cringing. And then just the adult innuendos in yes, this movie were incredible. I, 
I didn't write any down. I just remember. It's when they, the gross family is trying to get Pete back, and they're like, well, I'll hold the pretty lady who's like... Oh, oh yeah, that now. part. But then there was an adult... Slightly terrifying. ...joke when Red Buttons and oh, Mickey Rooney were nurse, drunk. The nurse joke. And there was the nurse joke. Oh, yeah. The Jim the Dale kept joke. making nasty sexual advances about women. I don't know. Teach it was how to just... Be a nurse. It was... And they weren't like, ha oh my gosh, kids yeah. won't get that. It was like, oh they were like, my we word. Looked at each other and we're like, we were like, that um... was just in this movie. What just happened? The one thing that we did really like was the transition between animation yeah. to real life. Mm -hmm. That was that done was very really well. really well done. And yes. I read all about it, and apparently it was like, they were compositing it in a way that it was three different layers, so they'd have a live yeah. action. Version. You know, foreground, a live action mid ground, and then the animation, or a live action background, and then the animation would be the mid ground. Oh. And that's how they were compositing it. And the backgrounds weren't that believable. No. And a lot of the scenes, it was like, why is he, what's going on? Or the fake lights. You yeah. hated the fake oh lantern my gosh, lights. The fake lantern lights. Your were fake so lantern bad. lights. And you were so upset about the fake uh. lantern lights. But when Elliot would like yes. take a tear, from Pete, it was incredible. It the was transition from the real tear to the animated tear on Elliot's nice finger was really, really well done. I hate that all of them are riding the dragon on the cover when these two never ride the dragon. She has, the whole movie, she goes through thinking that this dragon is fake. Imaginary. And then at the very end, she's like, dragon, real, okay. Cool, cool. Being a teacher, that teacher is the literal worst. <gasps> the knuckle puncher in the butt, like, a ruler that she oh, slaps the, all yeah, over yeah, her yeah, students. Yeah. She slapped, like, a pointer is yep. the knuckle one. Yeah. And, and then, then a yardstick is the yeah. butt one. I'm giving it three dragons out of ten. I'm not even sorry. But I am sorry. Yeah. What are you giving it? 2.5. 2.5. It's getting three because Elliot's so dang cute. All right? Yeah. All right? That's it about that, okay? Pete's parents are mentioned, but it's unclear what happened to them. He just shrugs when he's asked about them, so I don't know if they died or just gave him up for... The orphanage. Either way, really sad. Poor, sad. yeah. Poor Pete. Poor Pete. Um, so our total movie count is not And our parents have told correct comments are the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. She ain't got nothing, so nope. don't go follow her. Just, Just be her nice to a teacher. Being here. Yeah, go be nice to a teacher. Yeah. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not sure if you are. So you do you, and don't be the doctor and hoagie and the, the teacher, teacher. Don't and the, the Gogan Gil go family. Family. So they all bad villains. were horrible. Don't be any of them. We go together like Shamalama Lama. Ding, 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 ding